I've got our slightly puffed module here. I'm going to do a little bit of cell group testing, I guess you would say. So the other day when we stopped running it, let's see that, we was at 45.05 volts. And now we're at 44.9. A little bit of a temperature difference. It was warmer that day, but alrighty. And then also got our balance monitor and it still shows a little off. This side shows a little bit higher than this side. So figured we'd get a little bit of data and see if we can compare it. Alrighty, I've got our multimeter hooked to just half of the battery pack. From the positive side, the first six cell groups and it's showing at 22.4. And if we move our positive up here, our negative up here, we're ch testing the negative side six cell groups. And it's showing, also showing 22.4 according to this guy. I picked up a battery tester. It's a RC3563 and it tests voltage and resistance. All right, I have a little 12 volt, 12 amp hour SLA battery, and the meter showing 12.75 volts in this battery, and I've used it. It's a good battery, so let's compare it to what our other meter here tells us. So we got it on. Positive lead to the positive, negative lead to the negative. I'm cooperative, really. There we go. And it's showing 12.75 volts also, and 10.34 milliohms, I guess you would say. So I'm not sure what the internal resistance should be of a 12 volt SLA battery but that's what this one comes up at. Now we have a brand new AA 1.5 volt and we'll do a test on it and it comes in at 1.64 volts. Like I said it's brand new hasn't been used fresh out of the package. Other meter here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but it also shows 1.647 volts, and the ohms is 1. Point, that's jumping around a bit, but around 1.15. All right, now back to our slightly puffed module. I've got the negative on the negative and the positive on the positive and the whole battery pack is showing 45.18 volts and 7.386 milliohms. So I'll note that. Alright, I've got it hooked to the first cell now, or first cell group. And the milliohms is coming in at 1.26 milliohms. And the cell group is showing 3.765 volts. I've got it connected up on the second cell group here. And then it, it's coming in at 0.588 milliohms and 3.762 volts. Five point eight seven milliohms. Okay. One other thing I noticed or wanted to point out is we get one ohm reading when we just test uh, have the probes on the cell tabs themselves. That's it. 0 0.860. But now if we put the put it on the terminal itself, that changes the ohm reading tremendously. 1.342 milliohms. And then we'll do that for the 
other end as well. Alrighty. And we have just the probes on the cell tabs. And this is the negative side. We get 0 0.624 at the right now. But then if we move the probe to the terminal itself again, the resistance jumps tremendously. So these terminals seem to add quite a bit of resistance. I figured I'd notice, note that. Figured I'd go through and double check or get our data again, to compare it two or three times. Doing some volt and ohm testing on a fresh 48 volt, 50 amp hour Chevy Volt module. Getting some data. Here's what we got on the negative half of the pack, showing 3.087 milliohms and 24.75 volts. And if we move it over to the entire pack, we're showing 49.57 volts and 6.118 milliohms. I also notice. If you go off of the terminals and here's our data for connected to the terminals instead of straight to the cells the voltage is the same but the ohm reading is a little different and here's our data for cell number one and the voltage is nice and steady it 4.123 volts but the ohms seem to jump around in these smaller numbers kind of figured it would settle after a minute but so we put it on say half of the battery we got 24.74 volts and the ohms stay nice and steady at 3.084 milliohms. Then more even. So you go on the single cells, the voltage is nice and steady, but the ohms It's not like bouncing between two numbers. It's kind of jumping a lot. So should we just go by this first number, the 0.5? Hmm. Well, I'm going to get the data and we'll go from there. Now here's the results for the 48 volt, 50 amp hour, slightly puffed Chevy Volt module that we got with our RC3563 battery tester and ch -ch -ch. but I'm not sure about these readings because uh, our meter wasn't totally charged up so these two was with the meter totally charged up so overall the module was showing 48 or 45.18 volts and going off of the terminals the ohms was 7.261 milliohms but going off just the cells it was quite a bit lower and then our voltage readings was real consistent just uh, the end of the ohms bounces around a lot so I kind of tried to get where it was showing the most often I guess you would say but up here on these ones they didn't bounce around at all they were pretty well settled or 
showed what they were. And here's our data for the standard module that hasn't been over discharged or slightly puffed or anything. And this battery was fully charged, so it was 49.57 volts. And with or checking off of the terminal terminals, we got a higher ohm reading than right off of the cells themselves. Like I said the voltage is real consistent on all of them. The ohms one time I got 6.297, then I got 6.165, and then I got 5.860. So, I don't know. And then checking our cells, I said all the voltages was spot on. And then all of our ohm readings all have the 0.5. It's just the finer numbers was always jumping around. But the 0 0.5 was very consistent. Alright, I'm going to check on it more, but this concludes this test. More to come.